In SOLIDWORKS 2014, we see some nice improvements to costing. If we go into SOLIDWORKS, we'll take a look at our first part. Okay, so volume costing has been improved in SOLIDWORKS 2014. If we just run a, a cost on this part, we'll see what we get. Okay, so in 2013, volume costing was uh, introduced. Um, but it was fairly limited. Within the template, you still had to define your tooling and material combinations. If you didn't, you get something similar to what we have here. So I have no cost assigned for the pocket and the slot. In SOLIDWORKS 2014, we can essentially bypass the template and just assign a cost per material removed. We go into the costing options within the costing pane. Within here, we have sheet metal options, machining options, and finished processing. At the moment, we're using standard manufacturing process recognition, which is essentially used in the template and the machines and tooling and materials defined within the template to cost our part. We can use a customizable volume feature recognition uh, and we can cost our part on material removed as per uh, a drill or a machine, or we can bypass that and just use a cost per volume removed. So we define our own cost for roughing, semi-finishing and finishing. We just hit OK, you'll see that our cost in updates and we now have three costs associated with our volumes underneath mill operations. So you have to here factor in set of costs into your volume remove costs. If we just go back to where we were, You'll notice within setup costs, we have operation setup costs, custom setup costs, and load and unload costs. And load and unload is new to SOLIDWORKS cost in 2014. We just have a look at the template. Within our machine section, we can now define load and unload times. We can also define operation setup times within here. Prior to 2014, that was in the general tab, so you could only define one operation setup time for every machine. Now you can set, uh, have different values per machine. The same is true with the cut plate stop section. When saving out your um, template, you now have the option to save as a limited access copy. What this allows you to do is supply your costing template to uh, prospects or um, customers and allow them to cost their parts using your template. Now the nice thing about this is that they do not have any access to, to look at that template so you can supply them with the template without revealing your costs. If we go to a sheet metal part and have a look at cost in there, the first improvement we see is that we can now define a percentage scrap. So that's gonna be useful for people that are nesting uh, their components within a sheet. We also have the option to define or to use the machining template with a sheet metal part. So at the moment we're using a sheet metal template and we have some machined holes in there and they are currently worked out as cut paths. If we want an accurate per machine cost, we just go into our costing options and use machining template for sheet metal parts. Within there, we can define uh, default costs for bends, hems, and library features. If we just OK that and say yes, you'll see that the template actually changes to a machining template. And initially, all of those holes are still recognized as cut paths, but it's possible for us to then change those to drilling operations and we get the uh, correct cost associated them as per the machining template. If we have a look at plate, the first enhancement that we'll look at in here is with regard to um, the material. Now quite often you'll design a part and you won't decide what material you want to use until you've costed it. <laughs> Now, let's say we settle on plain carbon steel here, rather than having to go over to my feature tree and change it to plain carbon steel there, it's possible for me to set the material directly from the costing plane. So just a small but welcome enhancement there. Now, if we just change this to plate, 
again we have cut paths defined for all of our holes but it's again possible for us to just change those to drill uh, they all go underneath hole operations or mill operations we've got two holes here that don't have any cost assigned and the reason for that is because our drill diameter we don't have a drill diameter in our template that matches the hole diameter so we could either adjust the template or we can now change those back to cut paths should we wish to okay if we switch back to the slide just go over what we've seen there we now have volume costing for quick estimates uh, we can define machine specific setup costs uh, we have limited access template for sharing with sheet metal costing we can define a percentage scrap and we can calculate our sheet metal costs using the machine template we can also set material from the costing pane when we're costing plate it's possible for us to convert circular cut paths to holes uh, and change them from mill to cut path and back again Okay, we'll now switch over to Ed for sheet metal.